going Christmas shopping. I don't really need to get too much. I actually need to get five things. So yeah, we're gonna go to Bathing Stoke. So hopefully the parking won't be too bad. The tortoise has been fed. The dragon was fed yesterday. Quickly show you what I'm wearing before we go. I've gone for like a medley of colours, bit of a state, did it in a rush. Um, I've got the Agnes dress on by Killstar, fluffy sacks, and just a plain sort of see through sheer black cardigan. I've got it. <laughs> When you realise that the Christmas pudding has eyes. So mum bought back this rock from New Zealand, so we're just going to plant it here for someone else to find. Yeah, I was trying to do it So we got back, just sort of <laughs> bought all the presents and things that we bought today into here. So we're just going to do a bit of wrapping since tomorrow is Christmas Eve and then I end up putting everything out there. Um, I'm trying to make a hamper for Henry and Mop, who um, is Henry's girlfriend, the one who I previously recommended you watched her um, vlogs. She's doing Vlogtober. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> um, thank you <laughs> she's doing vlogtober she's done really well she's done it nearly every day i think um but i'll leave a link down to those below so we've got our drinks 
um, and now I'm just going to wrap stuff up. But basically, I bought this box down because I thought um, I may be able to like cut the lid off and then wrap it up and make it into like a hamper kind of thing because I've got them a few bits and bobs like together. So if I can put it all in there, it'll make it look neat rather than having loads of little wrapped up things. You right, kitten? Good dinner? Good. So I've wrapped up all of Mike's things and put them in this stocking. My Fitbit is charging, so I don't know what time it is. Um, but I think it's about 10, 10.30 at night. Um, so I've wrapped up all my presents. I've done a nice stocking for Mike. Um, I've done like a hamper thing for Henry and Mop. Um, and then I already had wrapped up all the stuff for my parents. Um, actually I gave my mum hers already because I got her some earrings. Um, and I wanted to check that she liked them because they were like gold earrings. So they're quite expensive. So I wanted to check that she actually did like them. Um, because I bought them a couple of weeks ago. Um, and yeah. So I've done all the presents. I'm ready for Christmas now. Anything else that I pick up tomorrow... Um, will just be additional picked up this <laughs> mother christmas well like mother christmas dress my mum has like the ultimate mother christmas version of this dress um and it's like a proper ladies one whereas this one's like a little child's one it's for women but like it's m like meant to look like a child rather than a mother christmas um but yeah i got all the things i wanted to get today all the guests i wanted to get um and they're all wrapped and ready to go tomorrow is christmas eve getting my nails done because they're getting really grown out i was gonna wait till after christmas but they're just getting kind of annoying now um and we're just going around petersfield so i may see some bits in the charity shop that i can just like chuck in my stocking or something um but it's pretty full and i'm pretty pleased with the stuff that i got um so a few things i got today i actually got these in the post so this is a pair of Doc Martens. Actually, let me see if I turn this light on, if you'll be able to see them better, because they're a colour. Not really. So they look kind of black on camera, but they're this like dark maroon colour. But basically, the way the coating works is I've got a platform heel, and then the way the coating works, you can kind of actually see it here. Um, as you wear them and the coating rubs off, they turn like red underneath. Like I, when I had my first pair of Doc Martens, I think this is my ninth pair now. My first pair, I like literally scuffed them so much. Whereas I think these will be more from wear. So like any kind of ripples that like come naturally like folds, it'll be red in. Um, and as you can see, the toes are quite red. Um, but they're really cool because they've got a zip down the front. So you can put them on really easily. Um, but they do also have like laces. So this zip part, does actually come off so you can like unlace it and take the middle like if i do it like that you can take this middle section out and just have them as like regular doc martin boots which i thought was really nice but i like this zip bit because it means it's not so tight along here which like this is usually the bit i have a problem with with my wide feet so these shoes they also come in like a plain black as well these shoes i definitely recommend for anyone who's looking for like a slightly platform doc martin um but like for wider feet but they were super comfy i tried them on this morning i got them through their klana process um so i i literally am always ordering them off the website so i've had loads of pairs that i've kind of got and just put them on and thought these are just too tight um so i just kind of am in a, like a cycle of like returning them and trying another pair and returning them and trying another pair but i absolutely love this pair i love like the design of it i think it's like a really unique looking style when i tried them on i did actually tie a bow at the top still so it still kind of looked bootish um but yeah they were super comfy and definitely i didn't need to like wear them in which is really nice so i got those first thing this morning in the post and then in the store and i haven't actually seen these before um that because they're not on the doc martin website they're on the shoe website i got these um so they're kind of like holographic rainbowy this lace has been laced so weirdly i'm gonna have to redo it but i picked these up in town today <laughs> this one doesn't go anywhere so this one is a really thick leather so i'm still trying to work like walk these in and break them in 
Whereas like these ones, honestly, I put them on and again, they felt so good. So if you're looking for Doc Martens, but you're not really up for like trying to wear them in at all, I would recommend this pair, which is from Shu. Um, or like they do this in like a plain black as well, like a plain black kind of crackle effect or sort of these ones. But as you can see, the uh, platform is quite different. Um, I think, yeah, it's the same the same platform as what there is on the Molly Glitter ones. Um, again, these ones are really comfortable. These ones are quite tight along here, which is what I was worrying about. But I've just got the Gomez ones, which are like lace up with a buckle around, with embroidered flowers and things, and bees and animals on them, um, which had this platform. But it was wider along here. So these ones and the Gomez ones are very, like, very similar in fit, whereas these ones are similar in like foot comfort but the actual top of the shoe you can actually kind of almost see it is a lot tighter along here oh and I also got um, these irregular choice um, kitten heels I guess you'd call them um, but they were like 30 quid and I absolutely love them I'm obsessed with like red shoes and they make me feel like Dorothy when I wear them. And what I quite like is the fact that like <laughs> this is Velcro so they're so easy to put on um, but it's kind of like almost a snakeskin look to them and then it has red glitter on the heel and then a red glittery bow um, but they are really gorgeous they're not too high at all um, so I'll probably use these as like a school shoe um, I usually wear my Doc Martens to school, but I thought these could be quite nice for the summer and they're quite cute and then I love a regular choice, like I love the style, I don't think it's going to show up because of my bad lighting, but the like attention to detail is gorgeous. So yeah, I've had quite a good shoe day as well, um, but yeah, as I said, these are probably, I'm going to save these for the summer I think probably what I'll do is I'll save these Doc Martens more for the summer just because they are so soft and so lovely um whereas i'm probably going to start alternating these ones with my gomez ones what i'm going to do now though is i'm going to tidy up a little bit hopefully i'll have time to start exporting my videos from yesterday um because it'd be great to get some of vlogtober up <laughs> vlogmas up before christmas but i'm not going to promise anything um and then i'm just waiting on a text from alex because i'm going to go over to see Alex and give him his Christmas present and his Christmas card and his mum's Christmas present. Um, but he's currently out with one of his friends, so I'm just waiting for him to be like finished there so I can go over. If it gets too late, like if it gets to like half 11, I may tap out and be like, yo, I'll just see you a different day. Um, but I would like to go over there soon. But anyway, I'm gonna go on, tidy up so I can do some editing. I tied it up, <laughs> it doesn't look like it, but I tied everything away, um, I started editing my video from yesterday, but Alex has just called, so I've put it back on his Christmas dress, because I've got my, my pyjamas, um, and this jacket, and I'm gonna go. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how flippin' magical Alex's house is? Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Do you have any questions, comments? Please leave them down below. Sunny, you are. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Bye.